Hi Taurus, this is your reading for the 3rd to the 9th of September. I hope you're well and thank you very much for your likes and shares and subscriptions and you are number two this week so well done. Okay, Gemini was just before you. Gemini was last last week so they have um, come together again this week. So brilliant, just like you. You are moving uh, to a very beautiful energy I've noticed the last couple of months. Um, you are come, you've come out of your shell and I hope the cards are resonating with you because you have some beautiful cards here. I'm also using a new deck and it's called the Oracle of the Mystical Moments. So the Tarot and the Oracle. It's a new one. You can see the review um, on the channel. Also under the playlist reviews. Okay. Um, also, it is by uh, Catherine, um, Catherine Weldstein. And I love the, because you can see so much in the picture. Literally, the picture says a thousand words, especially with this deck. Okay. Um, we are still in Mercury retrograde. Mercury will go direct on the 30th, as you know, because I said it last week. And also, um, there will be a tail end until the 14th. We will have also the full moon uh, on the 9th. We had the new moon on the 28th. So definitely, again, at the end of this week, there will be a moon change. And the moon will be called Hunter's Moon. That said, um, you might be very sensitive a couple of days before and after the full moon. When we go into the reading, we have the star. You've got the star. This is your wish, your goal, um, your dream. Could be coming true, but you could also be dealing with an Aquarius. You are definitely in the sun uh, spotlight. You are being noticed. So. Um, there is also the dark side to, or rather, the something is being illuminated because light does give illumination. And so you might need to do some more research um, or gaining knowledge with regards to a situation or um, a question that you might have in order for your dream, wish or goal to come true. You've also got the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups means there will be celebrations. So to me, this says, yes, dream fulfilled, wish fulfilled. That's the overall energy. And for this card, we have O oh, Sunny Day. Well, when the sun comes through, uh, it is a sunny day and it makes us more happy. Definitely. There could, this also reminds me of the sun card. Um, but definitely um, new beginnings, luck and optimism. You know that saying, oh sunny day. I, I don't know. But there is a woman daintily sitting on a red mushroom that watches the sunrise over the horizon. How nice it is to welcome a new day, especially with three little talisman of good luck. The ladybug. embraces new beginnings let us forget yesterday's worries and regrets don't allow the past to linger into today all the moments in this day are brand new never seen before or since you have the power to make good things happen you can make today your lucky day we've got three little um, ladybugs so they are the talisman okay so definitely celebrations, wishes coming true. So that's the overall energy. I don't know when it's going to happen because it's not lying on a Monday, Wednesday or whatever. But definitely luck is on your side. We've got the King of Swords. The King of Swords represents municipalities, institutions, also Gemini prominently, but don't forget Libra or Aquarius. We've got Aquarius here. Um, but the King of Swords represent, is, uh, represents Gemini prominently. And the opposite sign is Sagittarius and that's Temperance. 
Now, this could be an advisor. You could be seeking advice, especially with regards to secrets or things unknown with the star. Every spotlight has illumination. That's the moon and the moon and the sun, as well as the star. But you've got sunshine coming out. So the sun, new dawn rising. So this could also be a guide, somebody that advises you, could be a teacher. This could be to do with health, wealth, or anything like that. Okay, we've also got the temperance. So perhaps you might be seeking advice on how to balance your books. So you could be seeking a bookkeeper or an accountant. Or you could be trying to balance the home front and the work front. Or your heart, your mind and your soul. Or your heart, your, your mind and your body. You could be balancing. You might need to rest out a little bit and uh, to balance out. To balance life, especially after a celebration. Now we've got beautiful. Now it's called the journey. To me, it's number 19, which is a 10. So again, an ending. We've just been announced there is a new beginning coming in. This could be the balance, the journey could be that you are balancing yourself spiritually, psych uh, psychically, um, um, and mentally, and um, physically. This could be the, the uh, she's a child here, getting to fruition, uh, growing up rather, balancing life. And you're good at it now. Um, I'm hearing somebody saying in Dutch, uh, young when, when, when we've learned it when we were young we can do it well in the when we're old so learn from it learn from your lessons in other words use the uh, lessons that you've learned um, from the past okay we've got number 19 like I said and so there is definitely completion here this could be a physical journey but it can also be a mental journey Okay, um, and in the book it says love of adventure, curiosity, appreciation. A young girl gently rides a deer. Both the girl and the deer are having fun on their adventure. They are playful and curious. Sometimes we get so caught up in the destination, we forget to appreciate the journey. But if we neglect the little things on our path, like soft grass under our feet, or the unconditional love of an animal, we are missing out on precious moments. A friend, a new friend or acquaintance with different points of view can help us to see things we may have overlooked. So there you are. And here you could be with a friend because we've got the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is the basically Somebody could be giving you advice, giving you a listening ear, could give you a gift of money or, or a helping hand, definitely. Or if you're more fortunate, you could be giving it to somebody else. But I believe somebody could be giving you advice on your journey. This could be a, a priest as well, uh, the King of Swords. We've got the Queen of Cups here, a very nurturing, loving uh, sensual a nurturing lady passionate um, she knows what passion is she knows what love is perhaps she could be giving you advice on that journey if it's a romance journey could be a mother figure mother-in-law or your own mother or definitely somebody that you regard as a mother figure giving you sweet advice or giving you a helping hand we have number two Two to me means partnering up and here you can see all the stars again hanging from her hair and peace returning because we've got a little dove coming out of the cage being freed. Now number two that is uh, partnering up or making decisions, choices, confidence, letting go, self-determination. So there you go that says enough. You are determined enough to let go of the old. Beautiful. We've also got the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords means that you could feel imprisoned. You're hanging on to the old. You're mulling around in your head. 
no good let it go okay you're going to let it go you know how to do it be free the cage is open all you have to do is push it off don't let anybody use you or abuse you because you are the angel and don't imprison yourself you can break free take that blindfold off look what is happening around you not just in front of you also um, you've got the three of pentacles the three of pentacles you've got recognition so you could be getting a promotion you could be getting a wage price good on you taurus definitely three is creativity and productivity this is going on to the next level in career or romance but usually career you could be working in a team you could be guiding a team now you've also got three here now i don't know these cards very well because they're new to me i don't know all the but already before i start reading from the book i get a lot in just the pictures here you've got the house stuck in her hair so you might be stuck at home or you might feel imprisoned like um, uh, here the eight of swords so get out of your head and know that you're strong enough and confident enough um, to protect yourself okay and this could also mean to me your uh, safe place go to your sacred place and med do meditation and uh, contemplation and evaluation so definitely two threes beautiful we've also got two sixes okay now um, you've got the sleeping beauty's dream okay sleeping beauty you might be um, especially oblivious to uh, what is going on around you okay soul journey power of imagination inner strength and like i said with temperance you could be balancing this could be meditation we all know the story of sleeping beauty who got pricked by a spindle and fell into a deep sleep this card shows sleeping beauty asleep her hair thick like thorns surrounding a castle imagine if your soul could wander while you sleep what places and people would it visit envision what kind of journey you could have your soul is not tired tied to a, a certain place it is able to tear down tear down walls and scale a hedge of thorns like the bird sleeping beauty gently holds in her hand your soul is ready to be freed and soar to all places in your dreams there you go beautiful now we've also got the knight of wands you're ready to come into action because you've been taking time out planning things and strategically planning you don't want to jump through everybody's hoop or you don't want to jump through hoops to get to your goal you want it in gentleness um, and but yeah I'm hearing people saying you want it to be a smooth road but um, you know it's not where you begin the journey and it's not where you end the journey it is how you react to things and what you do on the journey mentally physically and quietly G gently learn like the little girl with bambi so maintaining the balance definitely news about a job news about something that you're passionate this could also be passion with a person or something that you're passionate about with a hobby you could be partnering up with somebody in a hobby also um, you could be moving home because this night um, also brings in an opportunity not only news this opportunity could be a job but could also be moving home so be aware of what is happening around you not just in front of you like i said don't be stuck in your head come out of your head and look around you 
there's more happening you've got the six of wands victory you've got victory you've got recognition definitely um going on holiday moving home De beautiful beautiful again going on to the next level um this could be in career but it can also be in romance so that could be news about a promotion or that somebody's asking you out okay remember passion doesn't last so turn it into the long term if you want to you will succeed but believe in yourself now you've got an other house except this is a castle and not a house my home is my castle so it's where you feel comfortable definitely number 39 39 is number 12 and number 12 becomes a three so you've got three threes one two and three okay the car home is where you make it okay experience of life growth knowledge and age so basically the red uh, thread through your reading is is balance learn from what you do and also gently don't be naive don't be impatient like a child can be and don't be immature just take it slow and steady and it will be all right because you've got victory you've got recognition you don't have to jump through hoops anymore you've done well and this is literally what has been happening to you Taurus you've been growing and growing and now you're reaching your goal boom your wish and your goal the woman on the card carries a big castle on her shoulders well you know you don't want to carry a castle not even a home you know it's too heavy lighten your load start delegating the castle is solid it seems like it was growing each year of her life the castle stands for the woman's soul inside the enduring walls she keeps all her memories thoughts knowledge and feelings the older the woman gets the more this fortress of life grows it keeps her company defends her against pain and provides the foundations for her true self to continue its journey and you know you never finish a journey until the diamond is going to be set that's the way i look at it life you never stop learning until the, you're in the other world heaven okay so that that is really beautiful so learn take uh, from it what resonates with uh, for you um, from the reading but that seems to be the red thread through your um, uh, you know, literally um, in your reading you have come so far believe in yourself but don't take too much on okay start delegating ask for help if you need to i hope you've enjoyed this readings um taurus take care and stay safe and remember you're doing brilliantly i love you bye bye